Okay, right hand technique. Um, the important thing is to get your picking technique right. Hold your thumb on top of the pick and your index finger underneath the pick, kind of like, you know, in the meme shape. <laughs> and have your hand extended so it's nice and relaxed. You want to keep your wrist nice and relaxed, nice and loose, because if there's stiffness here or in this joint or even here, you could really, really mess your arm up. And I'm using the Tortex Sharp 1.35 picks, uh, same ones that Niall will use. Really, really cool pick, really nice attack, awesome sound, nice and clear for all the tremolo pick parts. So the important thing to do is practice with a metronome at first. So I've set my metronome to 100 BPM, as so. And we're just going to talk into a few subdivisions and little things you can do to build, build up right hand technique. Now the first of which is quavers or eighth notes, which is where you pick twice per beat. And you want to practice this with down picks and with alternate picking. So for example, just down picks. Then with alternate picks. Now that's and at this speed, it's better if you just down pick. You can keep up the uh, well, you can pick, keep up the consistency and the stamina and the tone far more easily with down picks at 100 BPM. The next thing you want to do is 16th notes or semi quavers, is where you pick four times every beat. What you should also try and do, bear in mind it's quite difficult and it hurts sometimes, is down picking. Okay, now you can also add and remove the palm mute on each subdivision. So with eighth notes, or the other way around. And you can accent the ones on the semi quavers. Another thing you want to try and do is triplets. Down picks. And you can and practice this with alternate picks, it's better at higher BPMs. But as you can hear, it just doesn't have the same tightness as the constant down picks. And again, accent on the ones. One, two, three, one, two, three. So little things like that you can use to build up your right hand technique. And then you can incorporate those in your black metal riffs. Now a nice example to use to practice um, your alternate picking and especially tremolo picking is to play the I Am The Black Wizards riff by Emperor. Now all that is, is just straight 16th notes with the metronome. Then obviously speed it up once you feel more comfortable. There we are. And I think the actual tempo is something like 160. So those are little things that you want to do when practicing your right hand technique and it's best to use a metronome as much as possible so you can get your playing millimetrically and absolutely perfectly tight and as well as that it's good to practice with a palm mute so again the same riff but with a palm mute <laughs> I 
And it's a good idea to p practice playing these verses with a palm mute, just so you can build up that accuracy. And just to finish up this, um, this small little lesson here, palm muting technique and finding the right spot on your guitar is absolutely crucial. Now with mine, it's just here, just where the bridge is, just where the string as, well, actually, just hits the bridge on this um, Floyd Rose tremolo here, and you want to re-listen to the sound as well, because if you've got this kind of that kind of dead, like it's, it's still kind of dead. If you've got that dead kind of scratchy sound with no sustain, then you're doing it wrong, because you want to hear the sustain. You want to feel the strings vibrate in this part of your hand. So the way I teach it is to keep try and keep your hand as vertical against the bridge as possible, right where the string hits the bridge. And then that way, you get the amp swell. And it sounds big as well. And adjust your picking strength accordingly to the nature of the riff. You know, if you've got something low and heavy, you want to pick harder. Nice little bit of kill for Satan, for example. But if you want to do something a bit faster, obviously pick more gently. Otherwise, you're just gonna kill absolutely every part of your arm. Now, sculptural flesh, that breakdown riff. It's a really, really fucking tough riff because it's fast down picks and they're still quite fun but not ridiculous and that is how you build up a seriously good right hand technique and keep everything tight